Hello everybody, welcome to HD Piano. My name is Dion and in today's lesson we'll learn how to play Guillotine by John Bellion. Now you may pronounce it guillotine, I pronounce it guillotine because I don't think I can carry off a French accent quite well enough. Now we're going to look at the main riff of this song which plays throughout most of the verses in this song. It sounds like this. Do you recognize it? If you know the song, absolutely you will. Now, before we get started, I want to ask you a question. Guillotines are used in past times for not very nice purposes, mainly for getting rid of certain limbs slash heads. Now, if you had to lose a limb and it was between a hand and a foot, which one would you choose to lose? Which one could you live without? As a piano player, I think I would keep my hands, but I want to know what you think. So make sure you comment below and we'll see which one wins, hands or feet. Okay, so the main riff of this song, as we just heard, is based on a guitar part in the original recording. So we're moving the guitar onto the piano, which is something I love to do. We shouldn't limit ourselves to just piano songs when we're playing our favorite songs. We'll look at our right hand first, and it starts off with E. I'm going to play E with my third finger. I'm going to stretch all the way down to G with my thumb, then back to E. Then E, F sharp, and G. So that sequence again. E, G, E, E, F sharp, G. So, once we've played through to that G, we're going to do a little sneaky switcheroo with our fingers. And we're going to jump down to B with our thumb, back to G, then switch from our fifth to our third. So this is where our little finger switch comes into. So we've got G, B, G, switch to our third finger, G, A, B. So from the top, we've got E, G, E, switch to our third, E, F sharp, G, B, G, switch to our third, G, A, B. We're going to continue on from here, down to G, back to B, and then up to C, down to B, and down, down to E to finish our little sequence. So that second half of our sequence, once we get up to B, we've gone G, A, B, back down to G, up to B, up to C, then B, then E. So from the top, we've got E, G, E, E, F sharp, G, B, G, G, A, B, G, B, C, B, E. So make sure you rewind that and play it over and over again if you're not quite up to speed on the notes, but I have to move on because we're getting at it a little bit tricky here with some nice rhythms and I want to take our time to explain the rhythm behind this little sequence. So, we're playing here in a count of four, one, two, three, four, but we're dividing our four notes into four notes each. So we're playing in sixteenth notes. Now, as we count sixteenths, we count one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So that gives our sixteen subdivisions within our one bar. So, our rhythm relies really heavily on us counting all of those little subdivisions, our E's, our N's, and our R's. So, I'm going to count along with this as I play it, and see how many notes fall on an A uh or an E. One E and, I'll start that one again, one E 
and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a, one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. So there's lots of notes in there that fall on the a or the e. When it gets a little bit faster, it's when we get this nice syncopated rhythm. Now, syncopation is when we're playing notes in a rhythm that are outside of our main counts. So, a lot of those notes in there are syncopated. If we were tapping along on a nice count, Those notes all happen in and around the main pulse, but not really on it a whole lot. So make sure you m count along with me. We'll go through it once more, and you can rewind this part if you need to catch up on the counting. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one. A big breathful there, but it's worth taking the time to count through to make sure you get the rhythm correct. Our left hand is a little bit simpler in its rhythm and it doesn't travel as far as our right hand. We start with C. And we're gonna play that C three times. So we've got C and C, one more C up to D, then continuing on to E. And we stay on E for quite a while. We play E one, two, three, four, five, six times in total before we move to A, G, and back down to C. So we're mainly on our C, then up to D and E, and then eventually we come up to A, G, and C. The rhythm with our left hand plays on beat one and one and, so one and, two and, three, and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So each bar is the same. We have one, one and, and three and four. Put together with both hands with our rhythm, we get a bit of interplay between those two rhythms. I think it's really nice. It really emulates that sort of guitar plucked electric guitar style that we heard in the original recording. So I hope you're with me still. If you need to rewind and go back, have a look at the notes, have a look at the timing, please do. I'm going to move on and explain the difference between that riff you just heard and the start of the verse. It all sounds very similar, but I'm going to play you what I call the long version. Did you spot the difference? It's very small, but at the end of the phrase, when I went back down to E and C with my left hand, there was another one bar or one beat added in. So we resolve, we finish on beat three of that bar rather than beat one. So I'll play it for you again, see if you can count it out with me. finish on beat three. Now that doesn't happen a lot in the song. It happens once each time they play the verse. The other times it stops shorter like we just learned before. So make sure you check out the full version on hdpiano.com to see when it's short, when it's long, and how it all leads into our chorus. hdpiano.com for that video on how to play the chorus. 
You can find us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook under HD Piano. And if you've got a song that you would like to, for us to teach you, uh, use the hashtag HD Requests on Twitter and we'll tally them and make sure that your request eventually gets done. Okay, I'm Dion. You've been fantastic sticking with me. We're on hdpiano.com, the home of the hybrid piano lesson. We'll see you for part two.